Good afternoon friends. Today we shall talk on another important skill and that is the influencing skill. Because I feel and everyone realizes that the influencing skill can be a vital factor for career growth. To be truly effective, leader must master the ability to influence others. We have identified influencing others as one of the uh, few core well, uh, leadership skills needed in every role. And the most important of those skills are communicating, learning agility and of course self-awareness. Without the capacity to influence others, your ability to make what you envision a reality remains elusive because after all no one can do it alone without the ability to influence the uh, heads hearts and hands of others the truly important thing in work and in life can never be achieved effective leaders don't just command my friends they inspire they persuade and encourage Leaders tap the knowledge and skills of a group, point individual towards a common goal and draw out a commitment to achieve results. How do they do that? The best leaders have a few, I may say the four influencing skills. They are political savvy, means they understand how to get things done and embrace the reality of working within the organizational politics to move teams and important initiatives forward. Authentic self. They understand how to get things done. Leaders cut through the noise too authentically but credibly promote themselves while also promoting what's good for the entire organization. Authentic self promotion. With the organizational interest, you are promoting yourself too. Building and uh, maintaining trust. Because leadership often involves guiding people through risk and change. Trust is the most essential factor. Leveraging networks. No leader is an island. They are empowered by their connections with others. My friend, influence and influencing other is power. No matter who you are, where you are, work and what uh, what your professional goals are, achieving more influence in the workplace is critical for success. Gaining, gaining influence on a team can help you work together more effectively. Gaining influence in a supervisory position can make you more respected and appreciated. Gaining influence in a meeting can make your voice more likely to be heard and acknowledged. Influence has countless advantages. But gaining that influence, like learning a skill, takes time and effort. Fortunately, uh, there are uh, many strategies you can use to cultivate uh, these characteristics. Few of them are build trust with your co-workers. Cultivate Reali uh, real, uh, 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 reliability through consistency be assertive not aggressive be flexible be personal focus on actions rather than arguments listen to others influencing is an extraordinary asset in the professional world my friends but remember your goals uh, here should be to become more respected in the workplace not to increase the likelihood of getting others to do your bidding. One is a respectable journey to greater prominence and productivity while the other is simply a Machiavellian power trip. My friends, the ability to influence people is the most valuable skill necessary for any individual throughout his life or his career. This skill uh, distinguishes mediocre performers and losers. It governs uh, the amount of success you can enjoy. 
while you're working or even after that. Influence comes in many forms like wealth, status, power, cause or ability to, uh, uh, because of the ability to communicate. The ability to lead others is the decisive factor to grow into the corporate world. This, uh, this ability indirectly uh, is indirectly proportional to the ability to influence others. You see, there are certain things which takes to influence others. And the first and the foremost I feel is they know your objectives. Be uh, clear about your goals. Know why, uh, why you have to attain them. Ask yourself you are capable to, capable to achieve them. Understand your audience and their uh, expectations. Spend time and put effort, consistent effort. Then comes the self-development. Maintain. Maintain your composure at all times. Think very clearly and focused. Set goals properly and uh, realistically achievable, doable goals. Develop empathy and integrity. My friends, and the ultimate is after you know your objectives, you have you I mean, focus on self-development is the communication. Build rapport. Meet your subordinates regularly. Listen to their expectations, uh, fears and opinions. Uh, you, you must devise a strategy to put your ideas forward. Choose your style. It could be inspiring, a pleading, a convincing, bargaining, demanding or even sometimes threatening. Accommodate my friends and do not be adamant on anything is the wisest thing can I can tell you about influencing uh, skill and which is the most essential thing in any uh, essential factor in your career development. Learn to influence people. Influencing others and influences power. Thank you very much.